All right. So, you know, we're always on the lookout for the big shifts in AI. And you sent over this really fascinating column about a pretty fundamental change that's going on, um, moving beyond just the AI models themselves. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's been a fascinating shift to watch unfold. Yeah. And so we wanted to, you know, do a little deep dive into this with you to really unpack what it means for the future of AI, like how we understand it going forward. Definitely happy to dive in. So I guess maybe a, a good place to start is with this recent move from OpenAI, right? They decided to open up almost all of ChatGPT's features through their public APIs. Yeah, that was a big one. Yeah, I mean, we're talking speech recognition, text-to-speech, argy, even the code interpreter, all available through these APIs. Right, and, you know, the column really hit on something I've been thinking about a lot lately, which is that, you know, it's becoming almost impossible to stand out based on the AI model alone now. Yeah, I mean, if everybody has access to basically the same tech through these APIs, then the model itself isn't the big differentiator anymore, right? Exactly. And that's a huge shift from where things were even just a year or two ago. So if it's not about having the best AI, what is it about? Where is the competition going? Well, the column argues, and I think I agree, that the focus is shifting to how that AI is applied you know, through platforms and through the user experience. So like UX is king now. In a way, yeah. I mean, it's about how seamlessly you can integrate AI into people's workflows and how intuitive you can make the experience of using it. And this is where Anthropic's announcement of MCP comes in, right? Exactly. This model context protocol. Yeah. It's a really interesting development. Okay, so break it down for me. What exactly is MCP? I know the Colin described it as an open protocol, but what does that mean practically? So essentially, MCP is designed to allow different AI models to connect and interact seamlessly with external data sources and business systems. Think of it like this. Imagine you've got an AI customer support agent, right? Now, without MCP, that agent might only be able to access some basic FAQs. But with MCP, it could potentially pull up a customer's entire purchase history, their real-time inventory data, all sorts of things to provide much more helpful, personalized answers. So it's like giving AI a way to see and understand the bigger picture, right? Exactly. And the column makes this really interesting comparison to HTML. Oh, yeah. How HTML became the standard for the web. Right. So think of it this way. HTML provided this common language for web browsers to understand and display information, mm -hmm. right? MCP is kind of aiming to be the same thing, but for AI, a standard protocol that allows different AI models to easily communicate with and understand data from all these different places. It's about creating a common ground for AI and data. Exactly. And that's super important for businesses because before MCP, you know, integrating AI with their specific business data often meant tons of custom coding and development work for each system. So MCP streamlines that whole process. Exactly. It standardizes it so it becomes much simpler and faster to integrate AI into existing systems. And I imagine that's got benefits beyond just easier connections, right? Oh, absolutely. Because by creating this standard way for AI to access and understand data, it means that AI agents can actually gain a much deeper understanding of the business context, right? So instead of just answering simple questions, they can start to collaborate across different systems. They can perform more complex tasks within an organization. So they can actually do real work, not just talk about it. Exactly. And we're already starting to see companies exploring this, the column mentioned replit source graph notion Airtable. Yeah, I was going to ask about that. What are some of the practical ways MCP is being used? Well, we're seeing it pop up in productivity tools to make them more context aware in code editors so they can make smarter suggestions based on your entire code base and, of course, in business software that can automate tasks by connecting to different data sources. Mm -hmm. It's really about embedding AI more deeply into our workflows. So it sounds like the big shift here is moving away from this idea of, like, who has the smartest brain, like the best AI model, yeah. and instead it's about who can build the best body around that brain, right? The best platform, the best user experience, best data integration. Yeah, that's a great way to put it. And the winners in this new landscape are going to be the ones who can offer the most seamless experience, the deepest data integration, and the most complete platform. And MCP is being presented as this like signal flare of this new era, right? The AI-powered service platform era. Exactly. And going back to that web analogy, yeah. just like HTML unlocked the true potential of the internet for businesses, MCP has the potential to do the same thing for AI by providing that essential standardized layer for data access and interaction. And the author makes a pretty strong case for businesses to start paying attention to this now, right? Like early adoption of these standards could give them a real competitive advantage. It's not just an option anymore. It's becoming a necessity. Yeah. So for anyone listening, I mean, this is something to really think about. 
How might this shift towards platforms and open protocols like MCP impact your industry or your area of interest? What are the possibilities that this unlocks and how might you need to adapt your thinking to stay ahead of the curve? It's a fascinating time to be following AI, that's for sure. Absolutely. All right. Well, thanks for breaking all that down with me. It's been a really insightful conversation. My pleasure. Anytime. All right. And to everyone listening, thanks for joining us for the deep dive. We'll see you next time.